Tetris Battle Royale? I don't think so, Sonny Jim. How about we stop dilly-dallying around the issue of everything being a Battle Royale right now and actually make everything a Battle Royale? I was say you gotta go to school in 15 minutes. Well, my bad. First, you gotta take out Grandma. Epic victory, Royale. That's right. Today, we're turning the entire world into a Battle Royale in Europa Universalis 4. But don't worry, guys. Just because I say EU4 is lame doesn't mean we can't make it fun. And yes, before you say, I am aware I've hit 400,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for everyone hitting the sub button. And Cool Math Games will be coming. I'm just waiting for something very, very special to arrive. And... It's gonna be, it's gonna be the biggest meme on the channel. But yeah, I'm hoping it will take no longer than three weeks to arrive, but you'll understand when it's here. But uh, until then, remember that the Victoria 2 giveaway is still going on right now. So if you're wanting yourself a copy of Victoria 2, link in the description. Thank you for 400k subscribers. I will thank you more in the 400k Cool Math Games video. So I have no idea who I want to play in this Battle Royale scenario. So what I'm gonna do is leave it down to complete chance. We're just gonna click Random Nation until we land in someone in Europe. I, I know... Ruling out the rest of the world's probably not the best idea, but um, it, it, I think it'd be a bit too easy if we do. Oh god, to the Great Horde count as Europe. Oh my. Oh god, I fi Hey guys, welcome to my playthrough of the Great Horde in EU4. So the mod I'm using to do this is Always War, which I had to go back a few versions of EU4 to even get working, which is very sad because it's one of the original EU4 mods I remember from back in the day. It's a, it's a shame no one really updates it anymore, but um, we're, we're not going to worry too much with the options here, but um, it, it's going to be pretty bad. That's all you need to know. Oh god, so immediately I'm at war with... A couple of people and they may or may not just be stealing all my land because provinces flip to the, the the nation that sieged them pretty much immediately yeah this is fine this is this is fine you know, I'm not giving in we're gonna stay with the great whore to the end of this video it's either gonna be a really short video or it's gonna, it's gonna be a normal 10 minute a one second video and I know which one it's gonna be yeah I kind of definitely picked the worst possible nation right now uh, we, we don't really have any breaks from any sides which I kind of just want to leave which is the good thing about this mod is that I can technically just leave. Well, they're saying that for some reason, like, all the nations I'm at war with are also all at war with each other. So they're just kind of fighting it out amongst themselves up there while I just snipe all the land. Yeah, but you see, the longer I'm around here, the longer I'm, I'm realizing I, I, I think we should just move west to, like, more, more pleasant pastures or something like that. Yeah, uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're out of here. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of just see the uh, trail of destruction I've left on my path <laughs> out of the hellhole that is the steps. Uh, yeah, uh, don't judge me for this, but I am going to go ahead and use Denmark as my staging post here because it's got a lot of straits we can blockade if we get a navy, and um, we also don't have to deal with. Yeah, everyone's at war with each other. What can you expect? Wait a second. Hold on. Is that. That's. That's literally Caraman. That flag is, is it's a Turkish miner and it's up here in northern Germany. What the hell's going on down here? Oh god. Well that still doesn't really explain why Caraman's up in northern Germany. Well that that right there is a meme. Hold on a sec. How am I getting called for peace? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. The whole game is war. Okay, not a lot makes sense in this world, but this right here, how the hell did Switzerland get up here? Although I suppose you could probably say the same for how the Great Horde ended up here as well. Yeah, my fam famous neighboring countries are Switzerland and the Papal States. Just hanging out in Finland. Oh, gee, almost forgot, guys. Best uh, best set up my traders, too. Definitely a lucrative time for trade in the Baltic Sea right now. Yeah, so the thing is, every time I get to push out and take some new land, your country is like... Albania just appear with 3k troops and take some provinces. Yeah, so since I have one army, I'm horribly in debt, and every time I leave one front to go deal with another one down here, you, you know, it's just not going well. Unfortunately, I can't raise any provinces to the ground either. I can only just exploit the development, which gives me like four ducats. <laughs> I, 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 my country's dying. I was saying that I could have ended up anywhere in Europe right now. I have been stuck between Scotland, Trier. Where the hell is France, actually? Oh, yeah, of course. France is over here in Crimea. Ah, my favorite budget airline, Air Africa. Oh, okay. At some point, I appeared to have accepted Sunny as my religion over Tengri. Or maybe I didn't start with this, but I don't remember having Sunny as my religion. Which, um, it does mean I am now Danish and Muslim. 
Right, so um, I kind of just gave up with Scandinavia for a bit and just went on a, a, a little bit of a walk. Um, just a little walk down here into... Se I'm going home, basically. We're going back to Mongolia. Okay, I'm, I'm also being chased by Trier with a 21k stack for some reason. The land's all the way over here, but they see my provinces and I'm at war with them, so they just come and take them off me. I think the game's struggling so much right now that we might actually be trying to enter the ethereal realm every time it tries to zoom in on the province. You see, that's how the Mongolians won the first time they invaded China. They just create a whole new dimension and just confuse the Chinese with it. Right, no better time to start my golden era than after I discovered the ability to weaponize black holes to take over China. You know, funnily enough, no one actually tried to take over Scandinavia while I've been gone. It's just, it's just been left there alone. Except for Castile. They wanted Finland. Right, it's time to do what the Mongolians could never do, and that successfully invade Japan. Uh, but you see, with the power of black holes, quantum physics, and all sorts of other gobbledygook I don't understand, we're in Japan, and we're here to stay. And Castile from that one province in Finland has spread out into a giant plague upon my ex-homeland. So <laughs> sleep tight, pure Scandinavia. <laughs> Uh, Europe is disgusting, oh my god. So, so far, I invaded Japan, I'm Muslim, my primary culture is Danish, and we haven't accomplished anything other than the fact we're still alive. But hey, that actually kind of sums up Denmark quite well, doesn't it? Every time I look back, there's just something new that needs explaining. Poland? France? Castile? They're all here! The whole cat- Oh my god, the chew- I'm gonna go ahead and start eating the development from these rest of these provinces that I have in China though, so... Yeah, you know, it's, it's probably not the best idea, but I, I really need the money. You see, even over here in Japan, you look away to do something else for a second and you've been invaded by the goddamn crew! I'm sorry, Ryuku has seven heavy ships. You're an island nation! I don't, I don't get it. Do they have more land somewhere? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the TI command just to turn off Terra Incognita, not that it's really needed, just so we can try and figure out where they are, but... They literally only own that one island. Are you kidding me? They have seven heavy ships! With a six development island! Oh my god, I'm literally getting sneak attacked by the Ryukians! <laughs> what the hell is this?! Oh my god. I look away to deal with Ryuku for five minutes and I... I come back to whatever the hell this is! Somehow Cyprus has ended up over here. That, How? What? I don't know if Ryuki owned this before, but they're growing. I don't like- No. No! If you look at the political map, you can see where I still have cores. So you can just kind of see my spiral of madness through all of Central Asia, China, through Europe, Scandinavia. And on top of that, because I still have cores on all this land, I'm actually getting like minus six prestige for uncontested cores, which means... Ah, minus prestige for the rest of the game. So they might actually bust colonizing as well. So it takes like two seconds to like finish a colony, which I, I don't think it really matters because I'm pretty sure my colonies might just declare war on me, which um, that's fun. But I just like the idea of spreading Danish Muslim culture. I know it is. You look away for five minutes to go colonize California. Ryuku's landed again to sneak attack you. What the hell? Great Britain actually formed. And I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, English is not their primary culture, which means I... There's only one thing that this could be. Scotland has formed Great Britain. And they're getting straight on that whole colonizing thing. Of they, they, they're like everywhere. They're in Egypt. They're over here in Algeria. They, they have two provinces in Sudan. Oh, there's California. Um, I don't know if they're going to declare war on me or they're going to declare war on someone else. But there you go. Denmark owns California as a Muslim great horde country. Nothing makes sense. Oh my god, look, France has ended up in India. Last time I saw them, they were in Crimea. So maybe they're like trying to follow my lead, the copycats, and head over to Asia. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> rip California. <laughs> that did not last too long, did it? I swear to God, these Ryukians, I can't compete with a massive navy. So saying that, I don't think I want to get off my island anyway. Uh, I think France saw what was happening over there with the Ottomans, and they, they've decided to go back to Crimea, which is... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did I just spend the past half an hour building up a navy to finally take down those 
God damn right, yes I did, and that's all I've accomplished in the past hour of gameplay. Screw you, Ryuku! Oh, I set up a colony over here in Central America. I, I turned away for a second, and uh, the Danish people living there now live under Arawak. I don't even know who that is. This is honestly disgusting. Like, the Ottomans are so huge. They, they're they going into China. Uh, the, everything in Europe has just gone to Scottish Britain. Russia did form, though, and I, I think they're actually doing all right now themselves. Uh, Albania! They own Scandinavia now! But I think it's time we just left this off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Always War mod. This used to be one of my favourite mods for EU4 back in the day. So, like I said, it's very, it very much a shame to see that um, it didn't really go anywhere. It's kind of dead. Like, all the old mods I was looking back, and they're, they're, none of them have even been updated for years. Look, my, my whole mod library is just... Um, it's all red marks. So. Which is quite sad, but um, I did accomplish making Japan Danish culture, at least the, the majority of it. Um, I didn't do anything other than that. I just sat in Japan and watched the world burn, which um, that's my motto in life. I just go, if the world ever goes to hell, just go to Japan, we'll all get together, we'll watch the world burn. But I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you leave a like and subscribe button, enter the Victoria 2 giveaway down below, and again, thank you very much for 400,000 subscribers, guys. I very much appreciate it, all you guys watching these videos, leaving feedback, leaving a comment down below telling me to play cool math games. Um, it's all great, and I appreciate you guys very much. So, uh, hey, 500k subscribers, I'll just shoot myself in the head. How about that?